What is up, YouTube Colst? Here's so we are continuing the murder at Castle Nathria. Card review for Hunter, which if you're not aware, is this is probably the strongest set any class has ever gotten in this game, period. In large part for the reason of this card, which we're going to start with. Collateral damage. This is an 8-mana spell, which is only a rare. It deals 6 damage to 3 enemy minions. Excess damage hits the enemy hero. So you know that 4-mana card that deals 6 damage and you get excess damage to the enemy hero? Just imagine getting 3 of them. That's what this card is. 3 piercing shots for the price of 2, basically. I'm... Imagining the one thing is, is that the way this, you can theoretically play around this, right? Because you could, I believe if it, if there's only one minion, this only triggers once, right? So you can just never play three minions against Hunter Omega Lull, right? But, um, yeah, this does just way too much. Because basically, I mean, I don't know, how do you look at it? It's like, don't stand in the fire combined with, like, it's just this just does like an absurd absurd amount and even if you're only getting two piercing shots it's still very very worth it right it's going to be just an insanely insanely powerful it's the best finisher the hunter's ever had right because yeah there's been like no grand slam and call the wild but this is just way more initiative and a lot of times going to be way more damage it's just very very good and realistically speaking in arena impossible to play around unless like you know unless you're in a late game situation where the game is closing out and you can barely you can actually afford to play around this most of the time you're just going to get wrecked by this card it's just how it's going to go so yeah it's just insanely insanely good next up we um let's go start out with these wild seed there's these wild seed cards we're going to start out with the spirit poacher so the other insanely powerful cards for arena in this class a lot of people are calling this the best arena card ever printed. I don't think it's quite that strong, but like it's it, one out of three times it is the best card ever printed. So let's talk about it. It's a two mana two two Balcry summon a random dormant wild seed. What is a dormant wild seed you might ask? Okay, so there are three of them. The first one is a fox spirit wild seed. This is a one mana three one rush with dormant for one turn so basically it's a slightly worse pelican diver that doesn't this seems that's a lot of stats that's a lot of effect for one mana but it's not the end of the world right okay well the next one is bear spirit wild seed i wear them kind of being covered up right now so i'll hide myself the next one this is a two mana two five dormant for two turns so basically with taunt imagine that one mana dormant minion that priest had a long time ago it's basically that so yeah you're getting a really really strong card just on two turn delay it's very very good and the third one i guess i will unhide myself is the stag spirit wild steed actually let's hide again this is a three mana five four dormant for three turns when this awakens equip a four two great bow this is the great bow which is just a four two weapon so i mean i don't even like what would this card be in arena like this would be like to make that thing actually fair it is a three turn dormant which is very very slow but yeah basically the way it is is that this is two out of three going to be a very 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 strong card and one out of three if you play this on curve you just straight up win the game instantly there's just nothing is beating this you are not losing with this effect this is going to have at least a 90 95 percent win rate um so yeah surely they ban this card basically right surely um let's move on let's talk about the other two because there are other wild seed cards as well the next one is stag chart this is an epic spell three mana deal three damage summon a random dormant wild seed again so this one's probably worse just because it comes a turn later but i mean three mana deal even though three mana deal three is a better card probably than a two mana two two just the fact that it's a little slower and you might just have to like waste the effect just because you want to get the dorm the wild seed out just in case you get the win the game button it might be slightly worse but i mean this is still an automatic pick card you're going to take it every time you're offered so let's move on and then the third one here is wild spirits which is also an epic spell it's a nature spell summon two different dormant wild seeds make your wild seeds awaken one turn sooner this one is just unfathomable as well because um 
if you get, um, first of all, it's two out of three now to hit the win the game button. And it'll come out the same time as if you had played the two drop one. And you also get, you might also just get three damage. Like compared to this one, you might just get the three damage and then you also instantly, and then you also get one of the other two guaranteed. So I, I don't even like, this is just, this is going to be like almost always win the game on this planet. So yeah, this is just insane. Oh, so yeah, this might be the best one out of all of them, but I mean, it definitely is actually. Yeah, anyway, well, it's just, and then that is not even the last wild seed card because this is the legendary that comes along with the wild seed package, which is a five mana five, five, five mana four or five called Arlon. Five mana four or five, Valkyrie, summon one of each dormant wild seed. So you're guaranteed to hit all three of them, whichever one you want. You hit all of them. And if you can play this, and then you play Wild Spirits, then they all just pop. <sighs> so basically, I mean, Hunter is going to be, if you get any of these cards and you draw them, you just basically win. That's kind of help. Blizzard, please help us. But um, yeah, the one thing that's worth saying, though, is that the thing that's interesting about it is if you pick like one of these other ones and you pl you draw it later, right? The one thing that's worth saying is that the three drop might actually be a low roll because it might just be too slow if you play it later on in the game, right? But anytime you play any of these cards before like turn five, you're going to win basically. Let's move on to the other uh, hunter cards on this list here. <laughs> basically, anything that says wild seed, pick it over anything that doesn't say wild seed on it, basically. And the next card we're going to talk about here is Frenzied Fangs. This is two mana common spell. We're moving on to like the relatively fair hunter cards in this set. Summon two, two, one bats, infuse three, give them plus one, plus two. So if you power these up, then what that's like a three, three, two, three, threes in stats for two mana, extremely, extremely powerful. Um, but even the base level, very good. And this is gonna be a card you're gonna be drafting a lot as well because it's a common, but also it's good in its base form and it synergizes with other infuses as well, which would include if you had multiple of these, because you play the first one and then you play a three drop and then your future frenzy things, if you had it in your hand, it's going to be upgraded. So the first one will upgrade the second one basically. So yeah, just a very good card overall. And it synergizes with any other infuse that you have, no matter what. The next one we have here, another card which also synergizes with Infuse Minions, is Batty Guest. It's because this is a 1 mana 1 1 death rattle. Summon a 2 1 bat. So it's basically like, remember, Kindly Grandmother was a 2 mana 1 1 death rattle, so get a 3 2. This is basically just a slightly cheaper version of that, probably slightly better just because it's cheap and it's very annoying. Your opponent might not even want to ping it off because it just gets stronger, you know? So it's just. It's a very, very good one drop. One of the better one drops probably it's ever been printed, frankly. But yeah, just also very good. And it's two infuse procs for any of your future infuses. You know, you might not be able to do them instantly. And then let's talk about, I guess we'll talk about the location card next. And then we'll go, we'll end with the legendary. So Castle Kennels is next here. This is a two mana, three durability location. Locations again are cards that stay on the board and then you get to basically choose the time you actually want to use them. This is a, so it's two mana location, give a friendly minion plus two attack. If it's a beast, give it rush. So you can just play this on turn two. If you have a one drop, like say you had that one drop, you get to give it plus two attack immediately. You can use them immediately, but then also you have to, they have a cooldown, so you can't use it the next turn, but then the next turn, maybe you play a four drop beast is this a beast yeah you could just play i don't know a gargan and then you give it plus two attack it already has rush but then you get a five attack cleave that's insane but um yeah overall i don't know like because you can potentially give beast rush but overall like if you just get like three plus two attacks is pretty good and the fact that you're probably gonna at some point get value out of that rush for with a beast even if it's a death row beast you know one of the bats that summons you could give it rush and make it four <laughs> attack and rush immediately very very good and yeah you are a hunter so you can also just put it on anything you want and just go face with it right so it seems very very good it's probably not the best 
location, but it's it's good. Like it's useful. You'll, you'll be happy to draft this, I think. Next one here is one of the other very good cards actually in this set. Four Hunter. All of these cards are good. None of these are bad, basically. This is Stonebound Gargan. Four mana, three, five, Rush and a beast already very good oh but also if you infuse this for three for three also damages the minions next to whomever this attacks and it's an ongoing effect it's not Valkyrie. you can potentially cleave multiple times you could buff it maybe and then you get like flame strikes for four mana potentially multiple of them very very good most of the time like this is this one isn't like automatically game winning, but yeah, it's like a charging cave hydra, right? That's slightly bigger, which is better. Assuming you can infuse it, which you should be able to because you're hunter. Like I don't know, like this is just it's also very, very, very good. Pretty much all of these cards in this set are auto epic for hunter. The last one we have here is Huntsman Altimore. Is a seven mana five four. Legendary. Valkyrie, summon a Gargan companion. Infuse four, summon another. Infuse eight and another. What is a Gargan command companion? You wonder. They're basically just um. They're basically just animal companions. There's a there's a um. Let me hide myself. Let me hide myself. There is a Misha. There is a Leoc. There is a Huffer. They're they're just animal companions basically. But yeah, basically this is a reprint of Call of the Wild in a sense. So you get to um. It's a lot of infuse. This is not trivial. Right? You can't just infuse eight very easily, especially not in curve. Like that's not easy to do, even if you have some of these other cards. But you could potentially, yeah, get like a call of the wild plus another body. But you're probably just you're probably not gonna wait for infusing at eight unless you just happen to be able to very easily. You're probably just gonna be happy to play this for two animal companions. But yeah, with two animal companions, it's ready. Very, very good. You basically get the... St with just two of them, you get the stats of Call of the Wild. It's just you're not necessarily going to... You might mi you're going to miss one of the animals. So you might miss the taunt. You might miss the buff. You might miss the charge, right? But it's just... You're still getting, like, actually more stats. So, yeah. Very, very good. This is... um, Yeah. So, basically, Hunter is going to be absurdly, absurdly powerful. Not much to say about it. Um... Yeah, this is like the best set Hunter's ever gotten. The one thing is, is that except for the Gargan, a lot of these super broken cards are not common rarity, right? We do not know what the sets are yet. So that's one thing is we don't know. Hunter could be very bad off the other sets. But the common cards here are the, relatively speaking, weaker ones. So Hunter won't even necessarily be the best class in the game. But it's, I mean, Hunter is going to be one of the better classes in the game, 100% based off of this set, unless they ban half of these cards, which I don't think they will. So yeah, everything is very good, but that is it for Hunter. Thanks all for hanging out, everyone. We're going to move on to Mage, it looks like. So see you guys in the next one.